Today, we are going to reimagine the Tudor Black Bay 58 in Burgundy. Hi everyone, my name is Chiang and if you haven't done so already, I'd like to invite everyone to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of watch content that's coming on this channel and we would love to have you on board. In 2019, Tudor unveiled the new Black Bay 58. It comes in this beautiful black dial with gilded accents. I love it, the watch community love it. It was and still a very, very popular watch today. In 2020, Tudor released the Black Bay 58 again in navy blue and that created a huge buzz in the watch collecting community and it happens despite the pandemic, despite the economy. It's pretty amazing if you think about it. So here we are today, year 2021, and the watch community is talking again. We are curious what Tudor might be bringing out to us this year, and I know that there are a lot of people who are looking forward for Tudor to release the Black Bay 58 in a different color. And I think this could be burgundy. Here are two reasons why I think this could happen. The first reason, the product strategy for Tudor. Let's look at Tudor's lineup for their 41mm Black Bay line. It was introduced in 2012, it came in uh, three color variants, we've got black, we've got blue, we've got burgundy, and if you look at the Black Bay 58 line today, what do we have so far? We have black, yes, we have blue, and what else? Can you take a guess? Yes. So to me, it is logical for Tudor to bring out a new burgundy color to the Black Bay 58. I think it is consistent with their overall Black Bay line and honestly, I think it can look very, very good as well. Consider this, when Hans Bildorf acquired the trademark Tudor back in 1936, he added the Tudor rose as a kind of way to elevate the brand and associate the brand to the royal house of Tudor. And if you look at the paintings and the emblem used to depict the royal house of Tudor back in the 15th century, we can actually find a lot of references made to the color red. So I think this could be another reason why we might be able to see the introduction of Burgundy into the Black Bay line because it is part of that history, right? The second reason I think why Burgundy may make an appearance is the actual popularity and the potential of this color. Why? See, when I think of the color burgundy, I think of a nice warm feeling. Uh, it's something that the black and the blue version just doesn't seem to be able to provide. I think it's something that goes well with a wardrobe that has a warm brown and earthy undertone. For the color accents, personally, I think it would be very nice for Tudor to go with white accents on burgundy dial and bezel, just like the navy blue version. I myself have tried out a rendering using gilded accents on the burgundy dial and the legibility just doesn't seem to be there. White on burgundy has much better contrast, much better legibility and I hope that Tudor will go that way. The color burgundy is also very very popular. In the west, if you think about burgundy, we think about festive seasons like the Christmas, something warm, something festive. And in the east, the color burgundy is also very very popular especially amongst the Chinese community. During Chinese New Year, almost every Chinese person that you meet will be wearing something red. Red is seen to be a color of celebration, a color of good health and prosperity, and I think that it will be smart for Tudor to release the popular Black Bay 58 in Burgundy to kind of tap into that Chinese market that's becoming more and more affluent in our world today. But hey, that's just me. What do you guys think? Do you think that Tudor is going to come out with a burgundy version of the Black Bay 58? Or maybe a different color? Green maybe? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like what you see today, please feel free to like, share and subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you on board. Until then, see you in the next one.